And now to Australia, where New South Wales says the next two days will be absolutely critical. In the side in where a two-week anti-coronavirus lockdown in Sydney, set to end on July 9, will have to be extended amid a rise in Delta variant cases. With more than 5 million Sydney residents on the strict stay-at-home orders, total infections in the latest outbreak have topped 300. Now, the New South Wales reported 35 locally acquired cases on Monday, matching the biggest daily rise in infection so far this year, recorded two days ago. Sydney, the worst affected city in the latest flare up in infections in Australia, is battling to contain the highly infectious Delta variant. Press Brisbane and the northern city of Darwin came out of snap lockdowns over the weekend after officials there deemed the Delta strain there was under control. I foreshadowed a few days ago that the numbers were likely to bounce around and that's what we've seen overnight. There were 35 cases of community transmission, although 24 of those were in isolation for the entire period. So, pleasingly, whilst the numbers have gone up today, pleasingly 24 of those 35 were in isolation for that entire period. The choice uh, of uh, AstraZeneca has had its challenges uh, and Pfizer supplies haven't been great. So. Accepting that the federal government have did their best at a difficult time to get as much vaccine as possible, I fear that um, we now have almost a sense of it's almost a sense now of the Hunger Games um, of people chasing vaccine, um, and uh, until we get enough vaccine and enough GPs actually at the front line able to uh, provide that vaccine into arms, we will continue to have effectively the Hunger Games going on here in New South Wales. So. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.